some of you might have recognized it instantly, this shot of my studio, where well, it was generative fill extended in Photoshop. And yeah, you might ask yourself, how and uh, why? Well, AI is getting really good, really fast. I've used Midjourney in an upcoming sci-fi project lately and it has stunning results in combination with other techniques. But this is not about Midjourney, but Photoshop's new generative fill, which is just crazy when you know what to use it for and how to use it. And of course, I am here to tell you both. All you need for this is a shot of whatever you like to be extended. In my case, I'm taking my studio set because it has the nicest lighting setup in my apartment and I'm not in the mood to decorate something else right now. All you do is record yourself talking about whatever you like, bring this clip into DaVinci Resolve, cut it down to whatever length you actually like, grade it also to your liking. Of course, it's teal and orange, we are on YouTube, there is no other color combination available. And then you export the frame with the grade on it and bring that exported frame as a JPEG into Photoshop's beta or if you're watching this at a later time, probably the regular Photoshop version. Then you increase your canvas size in a proportional 16 by 9 ratio so that it fits your YouTube scene later. Or you could also do this for an Instagram reel in a vertical format, also proportional. And then it's time for some playful interaction with your friendly neighborhood AI and some prompts that you seem fitting. The best versions are actually achieved by only using small portions and filling that one after another. And after a while you get some very nice results. Take those and put them back into Resolve and try to overlay your whole clip. You now have a very big filled canvas with a super interesting set extension done for free in a couple of minutes within Photoshop. What else can you do with it? Well, have you ever thought of making a short film but set extensions are very expensive and you're not that great in, well, rotoscoping, blue screening, background extensions or, well, matte painting? Hello Generative Phil! And now one last word from me to you in that video that could potentially become very, very, very helpful in the future. Do not ignore new techniques. Learn them and accommodate them into your workflow. This helps and speeds things up quite a lot. You'll see when I actually drop my next how-to commercial, the beer commercial. As always, my name is Leech and I'm off writing the next scripts. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to subscribe to this channel. There are plenty more of this type of content and of course many other things available for you to watch. Have a great day, see you around and goodbye.